Hello again, everyone. Gary Ryan here with a second edition of Fed League Flash. Uh, already up, uh, posted is the uh, review on the Motor City Rockers, and uh, we got some news to look at. So, uh, two two videos today, none tomorrow. Uh, unable to post on Wednesdays due to my schedule. So. Uh, I will be posting any news that comes across on Spotify. So look for that. Fed League Flash in Spotify. Search for it there. And uh, we'll give you uh, the brief rundown of whatever may take place. But uh, I think we, uh, we're kind of caught up as of the moment. A lot of uh, potential and potential movement in today's news. Uh, first of all... Uh, it's been uh, going around the rumor mill, and uh, there's some substance to these rumors. Uh, looks like uh, the Delaware Thunder may be relocating for next season, which I guess you can look at it as, well, that's good, as opposed to them just folding. Um, there were some rumors for a little while that they might be uh, leaving the Fed to go to the uh, the proposed NEHL, uh, but uh, that doesn't seem to be gaining much traction at this point. So, um, yeah, back to plan A, I guess you could say. Um, so, yeah, now that they've been trying to negotiate uh, a new lease with the, uh, the fairgrounds ice complex down in Delaware, and that, that hasn't been going well. And so they started looking at other rinks that were in a relatively close by proximity uh, in order to uh, set up shop for next year. And uh, right now, it looks like the leading candidate is Aston, Pennsylvania, which is in Chester County, uh, just a few miles southwest of Philadelphia. And uh, there's a nice complex there. Now, right now, there is uh, an NA3 team that is playing there. So I'm not really sure how things are going to work out. There are four rinks at this complex, the Aston Iceworks. But only one really features any uh, decent amount of seating. And uh, now... <sighs> Uh, on their website, the Iceworks website, they say capacity for the one rink is approximately 1,500. I've seen pictures inside. I can't see it. Um, if, from my perspective, I think that the Watertown Municipal Arena looks like it has a larger capacity. So just for argument's sake, let's say 1,000 fans. A little bit better than what they've got right now in Harrington. You know, their capacity is 700. So, um, you know, they can get a few more butts in the seats, hopefully. Uh, but anyway, there is going to be a press conference. Originally, it was going to be today, but it got pushed back to the 28th, which is next Tuesday. And they will announce their plans at that time. So Delaware Thunder probably on the move at the end of this year. All right. Um, elsewhere, Binghamton uh, has secured their arena for another few years. I don't know how long the, uh, the extension is good for, but the Black Bears have signed a lease extension with the uh, Veterans Memorial Arena, uh, arena Board. So uh, the Black Bears are not going anywhere. Uh, there, there were some rumblings as far as, well, maybe Binghamton's going to be looking at trying to secure an ECHL franchise. Uh, there really wasn't much traction there. Uh, so uh, anyway, so Binghamton's set and in place, and now they can go back to focusing on uh, their playoff run for this year. All right. Um, Another announcement is coming Wednesday from a group uh, that is out in the Midwest. They're trying to uh, see about securing possible expansion sites for the Fed. And, I mean, I would think that 
Danville is probably one of those sites. Um, although last I knew Danville was having conversations with Barry Soskin, uh, I, I did not hear anything about how those talks are going. Uh, but then you're looking at, well, what about Bloomington? You know, the FPHL tried that a few years ago and things kind of fell apart. That was pre COVID. Uh, what about, uh, trying to go back to another uh, arena in Michigan, whether it be Battle Creek or somewhere else in the lower peninsula. Um, we'll find out. It would be good if we could have another team to complement uh, Motor City and Port Huron so those two teams don't have to play each other like 45 times a, game, uh, a year, but Anyway, so uh, lots being set in motion. We'll find out more about potential Midwest expansion tomorrow, um, and uh, we'll we'll fill you in on what we find out. Um, only other news: um, two quick transactions. Uh, one, Richard Pikowski, who was released by the Carolina Thunderbirds after Sunday's game. Uh, has been claimed on waivers by Delaware. Uh, he hasn't signed, but Delaware has claimed him, and this continues Delaware's uh, trend as far as looking at the, the new shiny object on the shelf, kind of like a kid in the toy store. So uh, we'll see what happens with that, whether Pinkowski signs or not. We will see uh, how that develops. Uh, last note, Joe Pace, uh, he got a match penalty on uh, Sunday for the Seawolves with a slash, and uh, he has been suspended for four games, so uh, he's basically missing half of the remaining games for uh, the Seawolves. Uh, so uh, I I'm not sure. I I'm assuming that affects his ability to coach as well, uh, not just play. So uh, we will see how that develops. So that wraps up all the news for today, Tuesday, March 21st. And uh, again, I hope you, you like these uh, videos. Please make sure to hit like, hit subscribe. Thank you to all of you who have subscribed to the channel. Uh, again, remember Wednesday, I will be posting, uh, any Wednesdays I will be posting on Spotify and the Fed League Flash there. Uh, no video uh, until Thursday, and then we will go on from there. All right, thank you again so much for watching. I appreciate all your support, and uh, you guys rock. Make sure to check out the other video about the Motor City Rockers, speaking of rock. And uh, in the meantime, I'm Gary Ryan for the Fed League Flash. We will talk to you again Thursday.